Hey again, welcome back to the studio channel. Today we are looking at this bad boy, the extra large AeroPress. Same brewer, double the capacity. My first thoughts on opening the package and like, it's really, really big. I, I mean, so one of the main reasons that I love the AeroPress, so there's a few of them, right? Like it's made from plastic, which means it's extremely durable. It's easy to transport. It's for me, it's definitely my favorite brewer when traveling or camping because you just chuck it in your backpack and like everything kind of fits inside of each other, especially if you've got the AeroPress Go. This guy, I'm not so sure. It's like, it's humongous. I don't know, can you see my arm? It's bigger than my arm. I mean, of course, like it compacts down, but still. Yeah, so here we go. The AeroPress Extra Large. Double the capacity, same brewer, right? So originally this dude was created by Alan Adler, who is the creator of the Aerobie throwing ring, the Aerobie like Frisbee thingamajig. And I think he also holds like many other patents as well. I think he's got like 40 patents or something. So inventor, crazy dude. The AeroPress also has an international competition, which is like, it's, it's so much fun. Like it's, it's such a fun competition, the International AeroPress Championship Brewers. I'm going to brew a humongous jar of coffee today using this bad boy, um, based loosely based on Jibby Little's 2022 championship recipe. Jibby Little is based in Melbourne. She's a fantastic latte art artist. This is where I first started following her. God, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years ago. She makes these very cool designs with latte art and she won the 2022 World Championships with the AeroPress. So a brief <laughs> breakdown. In the championships, I believe the, the maximum dose that you can use now is 18 grams. This recipe has been multiplied, has multiplied that by four. We're gonna use an inverted bypass method. Water at about 92 degrees Celsius with a TDS of roughly 120 dissolved solids total dissolved solids, 72 grams of coffee with a brewing recipe of, and bear with me checking numbers here, 370 grams roughly. Yes, and then we're going to bypass at the end to a total of about 620 mils of water. So this is like the only, I mean, sure. I Personally, I'm not sure. Maybe if I had a huge rucksack, then I would take this with me to travel and brew with all my mates. But in reality, like if I'm, if I'm traveling, I don't necessarily want something that's like almost 30 centimeters long and like this big plastic bulky thing in my bag. But so then in the other case, how I'm seeing that I would use this is like at home. But I, I don't know, I almost feel like like pulling this out to like brew, brew for your friends a coffee. Bless, I mean, like I'm so sorry. I don't want to like, I don't want to hurt anyone who's like a, anyone's feelings who's a massive fan of this already. Like, because it is like, it's cool. It's just, and it's kind of novel. And yes, you could still travel. If you have a giant backpack, it'll be fantastic for brewing more than like two or three cups with a smaller AeroPress. Okay, anyway, so, so basically how I envision this is like, let's say we've got some friends over for brunch and then like we're just gonna brew a giant AeroPress. So imagine this is the setting. Is this maybe the biggest AeroPress recipe ever? We're gonna end up with like 620 mils of coffee. Let's see. I feel like this video is gonna get me a lot of slack. I have the fellow kettle filled up to its maximum capacity. I'm gonna put that on now to 92 degrees Celsius. So she's set. I'm gonna weigh 72 grams of coffee and then we're gonna go inside the old shop to weigh it. So today we're using a Papua New Guinean coffee called Baroida Estate. We played with this earlier today. Really enjoyed the coffee that came out of it. It definitely tasted like the flavor notes. So it was like chocolatey. It was, it had this kind of like brilliance to it, which like, so this coffee, the flavor notes are chocolate, pink lemonade, floral poached pear. And I definitely got that out of this like uh, extra large AeroPress recipe. So like, I, would, I was pleasantly surprised with the coffee earlier, but we'll, we'll brew again and we'll see how she goes. So this is a mixture of varieties, Arusha, Bourbon, Mundo Novo, and Tipica. And she's grown at an altitude of 1700 to 1850 meters above sea level in the Kainantu region. Honey processed Papua New Guinean coffee. All right, 72 grams ready. Let's do this, buddy. So we've ground it to like a medium fine, medium fine bit finer than a V60. So Jibby, what she did, she ground her beans so they were still relatively large particles. 
that she blew out the chef, so removed that papery bit, which adds really like a papery kind of flavor to the coffee. She ground that again with a different grinder. So today we haven't done that, just as they, so like there's still all the chaff in here. We're gonna prep our filter first. So again, this is an inverted bypass method of brewing. Paper filter in the cap, 92 degrees water, nice and hot, high quality water. Yes, please. Bob's your uncle, that's lovely and done. I guess just out of habit, this is plastic, so it so it won't really make that much of a difference, but I usually I like to kind of rinse and preheat anyway, just in case, but whatever, habit more than anything. So just a little bit of water in there. So I think, as I said before, the fellow kettle, we've filled it up to like max capacity because this is a seriously massive brew that we're doing. So 72 grams of coffee, AeroPress on your scale, tear it off. You're just gonna pop that in there. Yes, yes you are. Very nice, okay, lovely, not too shabby. All right, I want you gone. Haha. <laughs> so make it light, nice and level inside the AeroPress as you normally would, tear it off water ready. So we're going to pour until, forgive me as I check these numbers because they're pretty funky, 370 grams of water. Okay, start the timer. Rock and roll. Yeah, there's a serious amount of coffee in there. So I'm pouring relatively quickly, just trying to get everything as kind of wet as I can. But I mean, there's so much coffee in there that it is natural that you're going to have coffee ground at the bottom that probably hasn't been touched by water yet. So I'm pouring relatively quickly because I'm going to stir this 32.5 times and we don't have so, so, so much time for this. Cool. Lovely. So we're going to get in there, try and get the coffee that hasn't been touched yet. And then we're going to stir two, three, 32.5 times. Great. Just going to pop this again over here. Just want to get rid of you. All right. So next step. At one minute 20, cap on. We're gonna squeeze out all of the air until you see the liquid come to the top. There we go. And at one minute 30, which is exactly now, we're gonna start pressing. The thing that also, this takes a lot longer to press than your typical AeroPress does. So we're gonna be pressing until about two minutes 30. And I start pressing at about one minute 30. So she's a, she's a long press. So how, so how are you guys doing? What's the weather like? But yeah, massive, massive cup of coffee. We should have roughly 250 grams of concentrate at the end of this recipe, which we are going to dilute. We're going to bypass an awful lot to roughly 620 grams of water. So we're at two minutes 20 now. Almost done with the press. I can feel a bit more puck resistance. Two minutes 30. Okay, there's still a bit of water in there dripping. I'm just gonna lift her up a little just to stop that. Go giant AeroPress, ginormous. Yeah, I mean, could, can you imagine, can you imagine like coming over for brunch and just seeing me brew one of these? I just feel like it would be like comical in a sense, you know? It feels like I'm brewing like with clown shoes on or something. It's probably an unpopular opinion and I'm so sorry if you love, if you're already like a huge fan of the massive AeroPress. I mean, I quite like it. I'd probably still use it and brew it at home for that anyway, because I, I'm such a small person, you know? So like, it's really, I don't know, I don't know dudes, I don't know. Okay, so there, 250 grams, right? We're gonna tear that off. We're gonna bypass to 370. Oh, and I even wanted to pour it into another jug because so much. Damn it. Okay, we're at 250 here, so I'm going to have to do this. Yeah, you guys are really going to be nice to me. Huh? Be nice. I'm trying to figure out the workflow of this bad boy. <clears throat> so I'm at 250. I need another 120 grams. Of course, that's going to change the flavor, what I've just done. Do people still put videos on YouTube when they're not perfect? All right, 120 grams, there we go. Okay, rock and roll. So, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Wild, huge, giant, 
Let's see how it tastes, shall we? I need to sit down. So Jibby Little, she also, wow, very tea-like. Whoa, I quite liked that. Like citrusy notes to it. I quite like it. It's not, it's really not too bad. It's brewing pretty good cups, which I mean, it makes sense because the AeroPress itself is really cool. I do love a good AeroPress. Yeah, so Jibby Little, she also brewed onto chilled balls. A lot of the aroma in coffee is volatile. They are volatile aromatic compounds and they disappear or they evaporate like very quickly after brewing. So there is like this um, super cool method that a lot of people are doing. She brewed directly onto these chilled balls, which froze a lot of those aromas, meaning that the, ultimately the cup when the judges would have tasted it would have had a lot more aromatic experience. We have to have a few more plays with it in order to get the workflow down. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you for coming on a, a random giant AeroPress adventure. Yeah, of course, like the cool thing with AeroPress as well is that you don't need to brew to max capacity like I just did. You can always brew a little bit less if you have only a couple of people around. Um, I'm just trying to think, what have I noticed with it? Yeah, definitely the biggest thing for me, of course, this is a different beast than the smaller AeroPress. So just a little bit of like the workflow needs kind of adjusting. I think, yeah, ultimately I like it, it's fun. That was fun made me look silly all right well i think i'm just gonna like just gonna go now and drink this coffee in peace so thank you so much for tuning in again if you have any questions feedback uh, hold your feedback now if you have any questions you know like we're here feel free to drop a comment ask questions we'll get back to you do i rate it i think i rate it I'm not sure if I take it with me on a travel, which is usually the main reason that I brew with an AeroPress, unless the championships are coming up and I want to get some play in. But yeah, all right. Well, love you guys. Have a lovely day. Bye.